If you ever find a dryer sheet in your mailbox, you should know the important reason it's there. You've opened up your mailbox to find something that appears to have blown in from the nearest laundromat, a single dryer sheet. Things then get really bizarre when after putting it in the trash, another one magically appears the very next day. So do you have a very clean prankster in your midst or is there another more rational explanation? Well, firstly the sheet has been put there deliberately, but not by a local joker with a little too much time on their hands. Instead, it's the person who's most closely linked to the scene of the crime, the mailman, who's responsible. But there's some method to this apparent burst of madness. One particular mailman's freely admitted to being a culprit too. In 2021 Chris strictly took to Reddit to reveal that he's been placing dryer sheets inside mailboxes ever since his first year working for the US Postal Service. And that means certain residents in both his home state of Oregon and his current location, Idaho, will know all about it. But Strictly can't take the credit for introducing this unusual daily task. That same year he told NBC's Today, I began to see dryer sheets in people's mailboxes at the start of spring. At first I was confused, but just left them in there. Later on, I noticed my supervisor had a box of them on their desk, and would see other carriers taking handfuls out. Strictly then revealed that he eventually asked the obvious question, just why are mailmen taking handfuls of dryer sheets out with them on their daily rounds? The postal worker was more than happy to share all on his Reddit thread. But it turns out that the answer Strictly received can't be classed as official protocol. A spokesperson told today, the social media post you are referring to is not a specific instruction or directive from the Postal Service. And when it comes to the reasons for Strictly's dryer sheet usage, then there's some skepticism from the academic world too. Texas A&M University's Sonia L. Swiger informed today, the science does not add up and it would seem that if this was a viable option there would be more discussion on it. Some Reddit posters didn't exactly take Strictly's reveal seriously either. If there is a dryer sheet in your mailbox that means a gang has marked your house for a home invasion, read one such comment. But others thanked the mailman for sharing his unlikely life hack, such as the individual who stated, I'll be putting a dryer sheet in there tomorrow. I love my mail carrier, and I have an insect phobia, so it's a win-win. That's right. Insects play a major part in the whole dryer sheet mystery, as strictly revealed on Reddit. He elaborated, I can't tell you how many times, especially during this part of the year, where I've opened up a box to see a little nest with three to five yellow jackets just chillin'. If I'm really unlucky, they will have made their nest at the very back of the box. Showing how frustrated he gets, strictly continued, so I wind up sticking my hand in not knowing they are there. We all know how temperamental these little douchebags are. And merely existing in their presence is enough to annoy them. Last year alone I was stung 10 times on 10 separate occasions. Of course, there's a particular time of year when you're just as likely to find an insect's nest in your mailbox as your actual mail. In the summer and spring, the likes of yellow jackets need to avoid the sun's heat. And what better place than the humble mailbox? In his Reddit post, Strictly clarified that dryer sheets should only be used as a preventative measure. And if the creepy crawly situation ever gets out of hand, he makes sure to inform the mailbox owner. Strictly added, I just immediately leave a note on the customer's door letting them know they need to take care of the nest before I can resume delivering their mail. But it's not just mailmen who use the dryer sheet method. Stacy Hops took to Facebook in 2019 to inform her followers that she'd been relying on the laundromat staple to combat an ant problem in her mailbox. And in an interview with Today two years later, she confirmed that it was still doing the trick. I use it mainly when I start seeing any issue with ants and it seems to take care of the problem rather quickly, Hop said. I haven't really had a problem with anything other than the ants, so I'm not completely sure. But I've not noticed any other bugs around while the dryer sheets are in there. 
So what is it about the seemingly innocuous dryer sheet that seems to make it insect's number one form of kryptonite? Well, wasps in particular aren't exactly fans of anything that provides a significant odor. It's why many bug repellents feature strong-smelling ingredients such as citronella, eucalyptus and cloves. Dryer sheets, which are essentially fabric layers coated with various scents, softeners and oils, can be similarly aromatic. And so most insects will make sure to give your mailbox a wide berth if one just happens to be placed inside it. Of course, repelling insects isn't the product's main function. Making your clothes feel fresher and softer is why the majority of shoppers add dryer sheets to their carts. The heat of the tumble dryer can help your laundry load to absorb the sheet's components. And they're also particularly useful for reducing the static that'll often cause your items of clothing to become attached to each other. The good thing is that you don't have to spend a small fortune in the supermarket's laundry aisle. Strictly told Reddit users that any dryer sheet brand will do the trick as long as it has a strong odor. But he did advise replacing the sheet every now and then to keep the smell inside the mailbox as strong as possible. As previously mentioned, the Postal Service has strict guidelines about how employees should handle a creepy crawly problem. In the statement given to today, it's revealed that mailmen should inform their superiors about any insect nests found in a mailbox. Other tips include the avoidance of aftershave and perfume, the application of bug repellent, and to be alert when consuming any sugary substances whose sweetness may invite the attention of insects. Though Swiger may have been dismissive about the science behind the dryer sheet method, she still has an open mind. The entomology specialist told today, now this does not mean that it has not deterred wasps or yellow jackets at some point. It just means that research has not been able to definitively rule it as effective. You mightn't believe in the dryer sheet approach yourself, but strictly begs you to let your mailman do his thing regardless. He told Reddit users, so please, if you one day randomly see a dryer sheet at the back of your mailbox, just know that your carrier more than likely put it there to deter these satanic creatures from building their home in it.